I think the frame is quite simple. We're called to love God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And so that's like a holistic vision that every part of our life, physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, is learning to love God rightly and then order all of the capitals of our life around that, that primary pursuit. So the vision of it's simple. Jesus laid it out to love God and to love our neighbour. Um, when Paul's talking to the Romans, uh, Romans chapter 12, that verse, everybody talks about, don't be conformed to the image of the world. We go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay, so I think we need to spend more time asking the question, what did, in order for Paul to make Romans into Christians, he had to understand how Rome made people into Romans. Hmm. So what was cultural formation that Rome used that he calls the patterns of this world or the mold Eugene Peterson's big conform to the world's mold. And so basically they used a sort of like myth, story. They used history. They used religion in the way they did that. They did shared cultural practices. So there was this whole way of living in society, ethics, story, sources of authority, uh, entertainment, the way theatre and the arts were all used. And they basically had a narrative they pushed through all of these cultural mechanisms and stories that made whoever happened to come into the Roman Empire Roman. Mm. And so Paul's starting point is identify the ways that Romans are being made into Romans. Mm. So then you can ask the question, how does a Roman turn into a Christian, a follower of Jesus primarily? And so um, I, I think we need to ask that question, which is basically the starting point is like, in what way is America making Americans American? Mm. Yeah. And then in what way is Jesus making Americans Christian? And so to have a lot of like nuanced thought around those things, how is America forming our heart, soul, mind and strength and vision of our neighbour? And then what ways has that filled our thinking and our affections and our understanding and our habits and our practices? And, our, and then to start saying, how do I bring the teachings of Jesus to bear on these things? So, you know, practically... Um, logically, sequentially, emotionally, dealing with healing, dealing with our past. So to me, it's identifying the one part, the from, and then the two who we're being made into. And so there would be a whole plethora of, of things that you would do to do that. But to me, that's the most important way of 